Look at no. Tito's. You think Carolyn's snakes are worse than Tito's? No. You think I Carolyn's think... face is worse than Tito's? No. Then what are we even talking about? I disagree, I think it is worse. I see more balance in the other one. Come on. I can't even believe we're arguing over this. Today, you must tattoo. Here it comes. A compass rose. Oh shit, really? Lost circles, a lot of tight lines. Yeah. It's just a nightmare. Unlike a vintage map, the compass rose is the part that shows you which way is north, south, east, and west. It always consists of straight lines and circles every single time. It's gonna be a lot of f ups. This is to see who's a technician and who's not. Straight lines, good circles, smooth shading. It's the fundamentals. Just keep it super clean. I'm sure everybody else knows that I'm struggling with the environment and having to prove myself. I want to showcase my abilities and that I deserve to be here and that I do have a shot at this. The rest of the teams are hating on us right now because they know we have the team. The hardest part about this tattoo is the pearls and all that lace in the background. Straight lines, perfect circles, it's a lot. Now. I think it looks great. Okay, cool. <laughs> I have the biggest tattoo in the room. Time is not what I have right now. Oh, oh. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All I need is you to work with me, and I'll work with you. Did I move? It's all right. It's nothing I can't fix. It's tough staying still. Today's fundamental day, and line work is one of the biggest fundamentals in tattooing, so that's what we're focusing on. I chose the mandala because there's lines everywhere. I'm about to start my red. Yeah, get in there. I'm worried about you. <sighs> I'm worried, too. I don't think he has time to be walking around right now. You gotta finish. Otherwise, you're out automatically, pretty much. There's a line that came a little off. I can't fix that line unless I bold the whole thing. Whenever you get the chance. I probably won't get the chance because I'm running super behind. Holy shit. I don't know what Emac did, but we're going to need a miracle here. Oh, it's starting to hurt real bad. The outline is taking a long time. I got to get it done. Is up, machine's down, no more ink. Icy clean. It was rough for a minute, I'll tell you. Mac attack down to the <laughs> wire. Wire, dude. Down Literal the seconds. Minute. Yeah. <laughs> was it his decision to make it that big, or what, what happened there? I don't know. Man, you just did a traditional tattoo. That's pretty easy. I feel really bad that I wasn't there to help him more, you know? You had to do what you had to do. I don't know. Today, you had to execute flawless fundamentals, tattooing a compass rose. Arlene. Hi. The first thing I get when I look at this tattoo is not lace. These different rays on the compass rose, they don't really line up. And you're kind of missing one here. Your east northeast is missing. If somebody had to find their way home, it could get tricky. Emac. Pretty simple, you can tell what's going on. And you've got a really doubled up thick outline here. Some of them look solid and clean, some of them do not. A lot of inconsistencies. If you're gonna make thick lines, they should all be the same thickness. You don't have the same thickness. Patrick. Yes. What's up, fellas? Big tattoo. When you get in close, you definitely see a lot of problems with the outlines. Around the edge of this circle, that's where it stuck out the most. Where you do solid fills of a lighter wash, it does look pretty smooth, though. Thank you, guys, man. We are here to form the first jury of peers to decide who we're going to send up for elimination. To me, I think the worst one was Emax. It doesn't have any good shading, and it doesn't have any good lines. But Emax lines are better than Patrick's. Wait, I, wait, wait, They're wait. In there. What? They're solid. They're in there. Absolutely not. Bullshit. There's, every line is hollow. I mean, just integrity-wise, regardless of how shitty the ship is, his lines are black, they're not hollow, and there's no streaks in them. They are so all over we're the place. We're looking at all aspects here. There are some hiccups in it, but I damn sure do not think that that compares anything to what Emac or Arlene did. Well, let's talk about Arlene's then. 
If black's supposed to be black, we can see every line that she made and every time she tried to fill it in, and they still don't meet. You lose the lace, for sure. Arlene and Emac are definitely in the running for the bottom. Jason, why did the jury of peers vote Arlene to the bottom? We felt like that hers had the most line work issues. We really couldn't find any straight lines. So for those reasons, we decided to put her in the bottom. I was actually going to nominate myself to come down here. I mean, you're sitting pretty. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh, not when your own teammate throws you at the bottom. Telling me that Emacs line work was better than mine? I didn't say anything about putting you in the bottom. I said that I... No, you, I mean, you, you pulled my name up there. Can and... I just say something? Yeah. I have narcolepsy with cataplexy. I have to stay super calm, because if I don't, I become paralyzed, which then means I can't tattoo. But, you know, I didn't come all the way the over here to go home. Who do you see as going home? Emac. I don't think it was necessary to put the compass rose covering the whole bottom of the ship. I feel like that was a cop out. When you look at this, you know exactly what it is. All across the board, all three of these tattoos have shortcomings. Where I've really failed is because I was too worried about staying inside the box. And I've spent my entire life not worrying what kind of box I should fit in. You're shackled because you're not expressing yourself the way you would if you were home. You have to release. If you get punched when you're rigid, you're probably getting knocked out. All right, judges, it is time to determine who is going home. I like Case. As far as the most finished look overall, I think Arlene has it. In Emacs tattoo, there's areas where your lines don't connect. There's areas that are not showing me that you put the color in solid. I'm gonna go with Emac. The judges have decided, Emac, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Hello, thank you. Today, you must tattoo a black and gray, realistic US landmark. What? Shit. Wow. Today, who's gonna win? The person that does the smoothest transitions, uses the most gradation, shows us in places where they can make it really stark and have strong contrast, and in other places where they can push and blend something out smooth. That's gonna put you in the top. It's gonna be a good day. It does a weird thing when it's on you, mm -hmm. and it makes it look very convex. It's gonna look weird. Do you have anything hip area at all? Yeah, that's a possibility. I could do that. This one here? Yeah. I can make that work. You all right? <laughs> I can't tell what that means, man. You just keep laughing. <laughs> From the first line I pull, this dude is in excruciating pain. Oh, my god. I don't even have the needle on you right now. Oh, that devil hurts, huh? It's a nightmare. I cannot get any area of solid, clean tattooing on this guy, and I'm all right, let's take like a three minute break and throw some water in my face. Oh my God. I don't want to throw up on you. It sucks to know that after all the hard work, I could be going home because this guy can't sit still. Yeah, my parents would probably like this spot better than the tramp stamp. It's a mean spot, like the one on the, on the back there. I'm feeling much better about doing this tattoo on the thigh, but it's still tricky. It's called the White House, and I have to recreate this in black. When did you start tattooing? I started tattooing at 17, and that was 15 years ago. Between my house and school, there was a tattoo studio. I just stopped in one day that led to mopping floors and eventually my apprenticeship. It just happened that I got really good at it and was able to make tattoo and do things for me that I never thought possible. I want to go to the finale. I'm going to go to the finale. This tattoo is just an obstacle in the way. For me, it's life. As long as I have air in my lungs, and I can see three inches in front of me, I'll be tattooing. That's what they wanted to see, right? Yeah. Realism is a time-consuming process. I don't do realism, so I'm trying to race through these last little details. I don't even know if I'm gonna even put any of the gesture lines because of all the rocks and stuff. It just kind of simplified everything else. Also, I still have the face of the dam to shade, which is the most important part because that is the monument. If I don't shade the monument, then I am screwed. Cool, man. Today, you had to show smooth shading, tattooing a black and gray realistic US landmark. Let's see how you did. West, you're up. Bob. 
The problem is it's such an immense structure that anywhere there is detail is going to be so tiny when you show the whole thing. I realized that when I got down to doing it. Did you ever consider not putting the top on and just working up to the rim of the dam? But it does have those towers, and I didn't want to like omit something that makes it what it is. Your one area of really nice shading is the face of the dam. Your rocks look really nice on the lower sections. The top just has an unfinished look. I respect your moxie to go for it, but the top of this tattoo is a pretty big miss. Jessa. It is pretty messy. It's got rough line work, it's got rough shading. If we look at the underside of the road, all that black is just really stripy. For me, the real problem is that this road just does not line up with itself, and the fence doesn't line up with itself. Your illustration is a very smart approach. It's just nothing's real consistent. Frank. It's definitely recognizable, but it is very messy. The amount of detail you put in this thing for a six-hour tattoo is crazy. Seeing shading today. And yes, you have dark areas, you have mid-tone areas, you have light areas, but there's no gradient, there's no transitions from dark to light. <sighs> They're not wrong. We're here as the jury appears to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. All righty. What do you guys think of it? It's going to be important for us to address that Bob and Jessa may be in the bottom. I believe that I probably will be in the bottom. Mine was the least finished. But it's so. also one of the most legible. Just from the overall look, Bob's tattoo has a weird shape. You think that my tattoo is worse than I, this one? I do, Bob. My piece has gradients from light to dark. It has smooth shading in it. Frank's tattoo was definitely a scratchy one. The thing is detailed as So what? They're all sloppy details. If you look at the three right pillars, those three pillars are all shaded differently. That right there, I think, is definitely grounds to put them in the bottom. But from a distance, you can still tell what it is. With yours, yours looks like a weird light bulb or an alien head. Come on, man. Or like you can something tell with that you have game. to really look into to see what the f is going on. You want to put Bob in the bottom with Jessa before you want to put Frank in the bottom with Jessa. Yes. That's crazy, bro. Don't act surprised. Angel, why did the jury appear to send Frank to the bottom? At almost any point, I can zoom into it and find an issue. For example, look at the right three pillars. Those three aren't shaded the same at all. The light's coming from one side, and that's why the pillars are shaded differently as they move back no, to where the shaded No, I mean, they're shaded is. differently from each other. Yeah, because they're from the other side. pillars. They all should have different shading because it is round, and the light source is going to hit it differently. I'm not going to sit here and say that I had the best tattoo I've done here. Like, that's not what we're arguing. But you can tell that's the White House. So did you disagree in terms of voting Frank down? Oh, big time. I voted for Bob because he's by far the most illegible in the room. I really wanted to show all the pieces of the dam. I've been there before. If I had just chopped it off at the top, I'm going to get ridiculed forever for being like, yeah, but that's not the full dam. You didn't include the other power unit. Not by me. At least it's architecturally correct. The Brooklyn Bridge, the bridge does not pass through that giant concrete slab that's at the bottom. It's still recognizable as what it is. But it's wrong. Like, you're doing a national landmark. It should be correct and true to the landmark. I wish that I could have put some more stuff into there, but I mean, it, it does look like the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. Jess's tattoo had the best approach on this thing and still lost it. But I would say that Jess's tattoo still looks like the bridge. Yes. When I look at Bob's tattoo, it takes me a moment to figure out, oh, this is the Hoover Dam. The thing about Bob's tattoo is his black's not solid in the water, but the bottom section is carefully rendered. At least there's a glimmer of application. Jessa, for what little there is everywhere in this, from line work to shading, there is not little problems, but major problems. Jessa, my vote's for you. My vote is for Jessa. The judges have decided. Jessa, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You proved your medal to yourself. You got everything in front of you. Take it and run with it. Please pack your machines and close shop. Come here. Good job. Thanks. You must tattoo a style that every master should excel at and every apprentice must conquer. American traditional. I didn't teach Dave anything to do with American traditional. I'm not well versed in it. I surely do not feel like the master in this situation. Hey, at least he's going through with it. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> I need to prove to everyone that I can do an American traditional tattoo. 
Let's get it popping, baby. Let's do it. This is definitely not the work that I do back home. I've beaten keto before, and I'm confident that I'm still gonna beat keto. Oh, man. Look at how deliberate he is all of a sudden. Look at that, man. Look at this guy. The tattoo that I'm doing is straight sarcasm. Those some nice lines there. Thank you. That's what they asked for. It's protocol, buddy. Judges want black. They want lines. They're getting a lot of goddamn lines and a lot of goddamn black on top of the black. One hour to go, guys. One more hour. How's it going, Bubba? Not as simple as yours, but I just wanted to hit what the challenge was, you know? Not only is it a snake, but I have to tattoo a guitar, which is a bunch of straight-ass lines. Dave me royally. On that jury, you fight for me. Be like, look, look at these lines. Ryan. This thing is just weird, man. Where I think you went totally haywire on this tattoo is basically just coloring this thing solid black. Just trying to take things down quite a few notches from what I normally do. Not put style into it, just go simple. From a distance, you'd literally have a big black silhouette. Everything is black, and it's going to get blacker as it gets older. It's got nowhere to go. The two things we're judging for today, traditional and legibility, St. Mark's is far and above on both those points. St. Mark. Same here. Winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is St. Mark. Keto. The tattoo looks heavy, but not in a good way. And you didn't let the details that you have in the bird itself stand out. It looks like you were trying to hide something somewhere, and the background on this thing makes no sense. I thought about that, man, after I did it. it seemed like a good idea at first. Red on red is camouflage. For me, legibility-wise, Big C's takes this down without question. I vote for C's. Big C's. Big C's. The judges have decided. Big C's. You've won the head-to-head -head competition. Earl, you went head-to-head -head with Dave. I don't understand what's happening with the snake. There's no belly, there's no belly scales, there's no teeth. Was that little look that you just realized you forgot teeth? I totally did not put teeth in it. I think it's pretty up. They obviously have belly scales, and if you're gonna turn and twist, at some point, you're gonna see the belly scale. You miss the mark from conception to completion. You look shook. I am. This one got you. There's really not much debate for me on this one at all. It's a rattlesnake. I ain't got no teeth, man. Y'all yeah, like beating a dead horse, man. Give him the lesson that he needs to be told, and then move on. Well, let me explain one thing to you. What you just got 30 seconds of, this is what it was for us as apprentices. I got slapped out of the chair. I got called everything under the sun. I wouldn't change the way I grew up for anything. This is my friend here. He gave me lessons that I needed to evolve, and it's tough seeing somebody that you care about getting bashed like that. You've got to tighten it up. Nothing's 100%, but that's what you got to strive for. We're here as the jury appears to put two artists up for elimination. Guys, this isn't gonna be easy. Let's do this as just and fair as possible so nobody is shortchanged. Let's just get rolling. I think it should be Ryan because I know he wants to go down there and challenge. This is my absolute bottom. It just looks like not give a from the minute he sat down with a pencil all the way till the finish of the tattoo. Ryan knocked traditional tattooing. He made fun of it through the whole drawing, and he made a fool of himself by doing that. Honestly, I don't know where his head was at at all. Ryan is not the most likable person on the planet, but this one is not my least favorite one of the day. The bottom in my book would be keto. It's just a little too dark overall. I don't agree about keto. I'm leaning more towards girls. There's no teeth, there's no belly. See, I don't agree with that one because Keto's bird is killing me. You can add teeth, but you can't fix that bird. You can't put a belly on it, it's a ribbon. They're both jacked up. You can't tell it's a rattlesnake. That's a low blow and you know it. I agree with St. Mark. Look at the snake, it looks like a ribbon. Still, we gotta take in consideration execution too. Definitely MB. He missed the mark quite heavily. That earring is hanging from an ear that would have to be on top of her head. Did it look a little wonky? Sure, but he didn't leave her lips out. There was an eye. I mean, everything that was supposed to be there was supposed to be there. I'm gonna completely say hell no, because MB's tattoos, they chewed his ass up on the lines. You look at Earl's black, it's solid as could be. Go back to MB's, blotchy. Back to the line work, solid and clean. MB's had some shaky lines. So, there you go, enough said. Eight of you won your head-to-head -head battle. It was up to you to determine which of the artists must face off with Keto. 
is the first artist that you're putting up for elimination? We've all decided Ryan. The skull's just black. It's not really legible from a distance. I'm always set to redeem myself again. I ain't giving up. Who's the second artist you are putting up for elimination? Second artist is Earl. Mainly because of the snake. And it was a little cluttered. It sucks, but I got it. I'm always up for the challenge. I am definitely not used to losing. It sucks. I feel a bit lost and I feel a bit insulted. Right now, I got the opportunity to do a lot of proving people wrong. They think I'm the underdog. That's the type of pressure I take and use as fuel. Keto, Earl, and Ryan, you faced off tattooing an American traditional design by Richard Stell. Today, one of you will be packing your machines. Keto, let's start with you. Keto's is very strong. It's got the right proportion of bold line to black shading to open skin. The only thing that bugs me about it is the little feathers shaded individually. Kind of gives it that scale look. Draws your eye away from the rest of it. If you would have shaded those scales instead, then it wouldn't be so noticeable that the wing isn't as black as it should be. I was just being self-conscious about overdoing it. Because it's so simple, it's very simple to it up. Earl. The outline is great on this one. You really sunk it in there, but from the neck to the wing, where you left that little highlight, could have just been filled in. In this tattoo, I think it works. Okay. It looks great. The shading in the claws, I like the shading in the head. I really can't complain. I like it. Thank you. Ryan. The quality of this tattoo is the best craftsmanship I've seen you do since you got here. The shoulders and crest of the wings are my favorite. The shading down the center as opposed to one side or the other just looks like it's actually the crest. But the stippling dot work in the eagle's head, that's not the best choice. It's a mistake. It makes it like overly dark, it makes it look like it's dirty. It's not traditional. I took in my critiques from my master here. I think if I would have just left it as it was. He didn't grab the no. machine out your hand to do the tattoo, you did. You yeah. always got somebody to blame every yeah. time, man. Yeah. I ain't blaming anybody. I'm just saying, like. I got something to prove, but the homie over here, he just dodging the bullet. I should have listened to myself and just stayed with what I was doing. All three good tattoos. My pick is Ryan. Ryan. The judges have decided, Ryan. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Tattooing with people yapping at you and us giving you shit about what you're doing, some people can handle this pressure and some people can't. It's not easy. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo Medusa. From Greek mythology, Medusa is a monster with snakes for hair, who turns any man that dares look at her into stone. Composition is crucial to legibility. There's a lot of really tiny detail when it comes to a Medusa. You have snakes in her hair, a pretty face. They are really easy to screw up. Guys, we took a bad beat yesterday. And today, unfortunately, we're gonna take one more because we're gonna lose somebody. Keep yourself here with good features in a face a strong snake do not create an eel or something that leaves them debating if they're even snakes. Do not that part up. This canvas is freaking me out. You want full body and also he want color. Some real freaking predator metallic look. He could send me home. You'll kill yourself doing all that. And it's not even that appealing. Yeah. Get rid of that weird rattle. He wants a rattle? He wants a rattle. He want the Tito, that thing's just little, man. Well, look at what you're up against. You're up against a bunch of people that are doing big, open faces with big, beautiful details. That could either make you the man or it could send you home. It's a tough design. Don't stress. Hang in. Apparently, was doing good until she put that background in. Really hoping to see more of my strength than this one. I almost didn't even make it onto a team. I was the last pick. At this point, I need to not feel like the underdog. I put a lot of things on hold. My whole life, my kids. I need to nail this down. Keto looks rough. 
I think what we went after happened. Yeah, inadvertently. Not yeah. maybe the way we were expecting yeah. it to, but it's looking like it looks like we, T-Day's got the getting good luck. I think so too. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. I think we started out a little rough, but we got it done. Tough Tito's Medusa, his snakes look like yarn. It looks like a zombified raggedy ant. It's and he needs to go home with it. Today, you had to show perfect composition by tattooing Medusa. Team Nunez, let's see how you did. Tito. The snake heads are all completely so different. Some of them look like koi, some of them have a frog look. Just try to create the best composition that I could. Her arm just ending abruptly like that is really strange. The bottom of the tattoo where her torso ends off, also strange. And then there's a little piece of something on her hip. I don't know if that's a piece of her clothing. And this is a really, really rough tattoo to turn in today. Carolyn. The backside of the tattoo is very unfinished. She literally just has this little bit of a face that's floating in this mess that from a distance is really hard to tell what's going on. I ran out of time and I had to focus a little bit more on the face rather than the smoke. These outlines and this shading, it has a very single needle prison machine look to it. And you have all the tools, that's not a good thing. You're on my team, I wanna sugarcoat it as much as possible, but it's not possible. This quality does not stand up. You're hanging yourself. We are here as the jury of peers to decide who should be eliminated. Tito's is just a bad tattoo all around. Those snakes are horrible. I don't think his canvas asked for eel-faced snakes. He's missing an arm, and look how he ended the belly. It just ends. When I look at it, though, I see more symmetry and balance than I do in Carolyn. Kind of see a nose and two eyes and then a bunch of mush. I vote for Carolyn. Look at no. Tito's. You think Carolyn's snakes are worse than Tito's? No. You think I Carolyn's think... face is worse than Tito's? No. Then what are we even talking about? I disagree. I think it is worse. I see more balance in the other one. Come on. I can't even believe we're arguing over this. Today, the jury of peers decided to put Tough Tito up. We debated and we really hammered it out. And at the end, it wasn't unanimous. It was a majority rule. You guys better pray that I don't walk back from that door. That's the only thing I have to say. Let's go downstairs. I'm ready. Let's go. Why did you vote Tito to the bottom? When it came down to it, it was who had the prettiest face, who had the best snakes, who had the best color packing or shading. We just really debated on that. Majority voted Tito. They shoot for me. I'm a strong competitor. I don't think I deserve to go home. Tito, I like your confidence. But the only thing on game I can play that time was composition. Did he suggest Everything that you see and reds that and opaque grays? It just That's scattered. what he wants. But aside from the struggles with the canvas, the nose is crooked. Eyes aren't the same shape. The forehead line is off. This is one of the worst of the day. From any distance at all, it's an eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and who knows what else. It's a mess. I don't think my tattoo is worse than his. There's ways to make that image look better instead of making little yarns coming out of the head. All right, guys, time to determine who's going home. Tito's, I mean, it looks like a painful injury. My vote is to send Tito home. Carolyn, I'm sorry. My vote is for you. Here's where I'm at, and here's how it falls. Carolyn's report card is the worst of the three. I haven't done tattoos period. like that since I started tattooing. I didn't come here, leave my whole life to stand here to go home right now. Traditional day, Tito beat you. Geisha day, Tito beat you. I'm sure at home, you are much better than you are in a pressure cooker. I but this pressure say, I, cooker. I know you're gonna about to say my name, but I think you're gonna make a huge goddamn mistake. My vote is for Carolyn to go home. The judges have decided, Carolyn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This is a tough environment. It is not for everybody. It's a lot of pressure. All right, Carolyn, please pack your machines and close shop. For today's challenge, we must tattoo neo-traditional animals. Dope. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm scared. <laughs> I love animals. They're so cute. Neo-traditional, I'm just gonna jump off a bridge. You heard it. Solid, bright color. Don't mute it. Let's see what you got. Don't do any watercolor. God, shut up. I know. How you doing over here? Good. Just trying to like block colors in. 
That's all it is. Big blocky, solid tattoo. I hate color. I've always seen things in black and gray. This is my mixer for all the blues. That's my mixer. Never mix with white. You're going to grab a tan, something that's light that can get you to a lighter tone, and you mix that. I taught myself, so I don't really know anything. I work by myself, so it's not like I really have the chance to learn. I want to be able to let go of all of the shit in my head, and I just want to have fun. I want to do a good tattoo. It's just hard. Watch you're not wiping too hard over that line work. Okay. Four hours to go, everybody. Four more hours. The whole top of the head is dark brown, but you have it orange. I honestly rarely work with color. I just figured I would make it like the brown and orange, just because otherwise he would be really neutral. I am not a neo-traditional tattooer. The way that I would go ahead and shade things as a realism artist it would be the polar opposite. Just try to get some of the darks in there, you know? Yep. Because that's what you want. You want darks and, and lights. I'm not so sure mine's neo-traditional. Today, you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal. Women's team, you're up first. Let's start with Ashley. Your piece is out of balance. You yourself show me that you know how to put solid color in in one section, because the green leaf is the only thing on your entire piece that's solid. And you abandon that, for whatever reason, throughout everywhere else. I don't do neo-traditional. But you do art, right? Yes. Be an artist. Ash. These tattoos need a heavy outline. They stand alone. You don't have a strong outline. Your blue isn't solid. And please, for the love of God, what is that red? Yeah, I probably told her to do the red. I just told her to whip red from corners. It's not that. It's the way the red looks. You just don't put in solid color. This is my first time doing it. Not that that's an excuse. Don't abandon the things that you can do because somebody changed the name of what you're doing. You know what you're always doing? Tattooing. Yeah. So just tattoo. Okay, gentlemen, we are here as the jury appears, thanks to Jason, and we have to determine who we think needs to be put up for elimination. Ashley's tattoo slid out to me. The thing is holidays galore. There's no excuse to have that many holidays in a tattoo that size. Yeah. The orange is what's getting me. She ain't using a ton of black either. I'm gonna say Ash as well. Why well, I look like it got a beard or something? I think it's like a chest puff. I'm not really sure. I thought y'all were gonna vote me down. I'm gonna be straight up honest right now. I don't think that looks like a panther, it looks like a wolf to me. I will fight for my right to be in this competition. Will you fight for your right to be on this team? I don't feel like a part of this team. People definitely love to harp on like the things they just don't like about me as a person. You don't have to like me. You know, everyone here wants to make it as far as they can. I can help get us there. I can show up, you know, work as a team and move forward. I respect the hell out of that. I feel way better. Clear the air, man, got the elephant out of that room. <sighs> Yes, all right, go men. The jury of peers has decided the artist that we're putting down for elimination is Ashley. Katie, why did the men's team vote Ashley to the bottom? There were some technical issues, the fact that there was so much patchiness and whatnot going on. The contrast wasn't really there either. I was really happy with this piece. I thought it was bold. Say I should not be down here. I don't think I should be down here. There you go. The three of you? all struggle. You two do not show that you can color. You have a little bit of green, which shows me 90% of a tattoo that isn't colored properly and 10% that is. And then your tattoo looks like it's 15 years old, washed out. You have to be able to apply the ink and get out. It doesn't have punch. I do not want to cause trauma, honestly. The shin tattoo that Justin did definitely has some skin trauma. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I'd rather have Justin's design, but I can't just take design into consideration. I'm gonna keep going back to the fact that it was on a shin. It's a lot of black, you wanted contrast, I gave you contrast. I know that I'm a good tattoo artist. My point is not on a personal level, my point is on a technical level. You, my man, are my choice to go home. My vote's for Ash. We got one vote for Ash. We got one vote for Justin. I understand all the arguments here. Justin, I vote for you. The judges have decided, Justin, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I know that this is so completely different from what you excel at back home. You have a huge clientele and you kill it. I think you did a really good job. I don't think you deserve to go home today. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay. 